Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you five more tips about physics. Last video, we did five tips, and this video, we're gonna do five tips. I know last video I said if it gets 350 likes, I'll do six tips, but I gotta keep it even. Come on, guys, let's, let's be honest. By the way, the last tip is very helpful. A lot of people have been wanting to know how to do the last tip, so further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys what the tips are. Now, again, like every single tipping video, or tip video, not tip me video. I'm gonna show you guys what the tips are and then I'm gonna show you guys how to build them. So let's go ahead and go to the first tip. First tip is things you should know about physics once again. Second tip is how to troll your friends using the new physics. Basically what happens is your friends will go down the slide, fall down, be like, oh, I can grapple. Okay, that is not supposed to happen. Technical difficulties, but okay, this is what's supposed to happen. They fall down, try to grapple, and then they get trolled. The next one is how to build these little tinkle board things. Basically, it's like a little race. So I put me, Glingus, Index, and a random noob. And let's see who wins. Where am I at? Oh, wait, am I about to win? Wait a minute. I won! Yo, this is not scripted, bro. I promise. So that's the plinkle board thing, my bob. For tip four is how to build a working rocket. So basically, you can use it. You could drive. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's working now. I'm going to go over there. Too far. Let's go above the mountains. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. Go up. Go up. Okay, okay, okay. We're locked in. All right. So this is just a rocket. You know, you could drive it. Go wherever you want. I'm going to try and land on the plinkle board. I almost oh for tip five is what everyone wants for some reason. It's how to build a rag doll. You can mess with them. You can pop his head off like mm. oh wait, I missed it. I want to chop off his legs. Chop off his oh I chopped off everything. Oh my gosh. You can get the baseball bat. Hit a baseball. Okay, that's there we go. Oh my gosh, that took every part of his body off. Not only that, push your your dummy or forgot what things are called already. Push him off the edge. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna die. Oh, my bad, bro. Not only that, but you can kill your dummy with the rocket. Ah! Oh, wait. How did he serve? Okay, no, we're going to go to the other dummy. The other dummy. Right there. Come on. Right there. No! Oh, I got him. I got him. Hey, both dummies down. Let's go. Okay, no more fooling around. Let's get to the tutorial because I know you guys are wanting to know how to build these. First off, things you guys should know. Number one, do not build your rock climbing maps like this, like with wood inside of it. Don't put wood inside of it anymore. That's useless now. It's a waste of two complexity. Here's how to do it. Look, look, at it. there's no wood inside of there. No wood inside of there. Here's how to make a rock climbing without wood and you can grab on concrete. All you do is get a block, go to grabable, and then you're done. Don't, don't do that anymore, guys. It's the new era of grab. Another thing, people are saying that this is more complexity than doing these two. Um, no, it exact same for complexity for complexity. It's exact same. You can do it however you want. Another thing, breakable blocks don't work when they have physics on that. You can't put physics. You literally can't. <coughs> so that is off the board, guys. Okay, now move on to tip number two. How to do the troll your friends thing. First of all, you want to make your ice path with one gap inside of it and then get your grapple block and then get the ending where they think they're going to go. So first of all, you want to make the little troll. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our ice block, put it right there. Make sure it's perfectly fit between everything. Then go ahead and make a double, put it right inside of there, group them together, enable physics. That's all you do. And then now you have a falling glitch thing my bomb it's how to troll then what you want to do go to your go to your grapple block and do the same thing just group it enable physics and you can't grapple it anymore now for the part where they think they're gonna die but it's a troll and it ends up just being a red block you're gonna get your lava just like that then you're gonna get a block make sure it looks like the color of the lava or no put it like put it like just like that then you're gonna make it wrap over the lava block then you're gonna put it underground now here's where the fun part begins you're gonna animate the block one two put it up right above the lava another frame put it like whatever speed you want make it over 500 start active off okay i'm gonna pause the video real quick but i kind of messed something up in this tutorial so see frame two right here make sure that this is on two milliseconds so that when it pops up it doesn't pop up going slow but it pops up instantly so that when the person's falling it doesn't bounce them up into space like the first clip you saw of me doing this so also you want to do this on the lava block so right now after this i'm going to animate the lava block doing the same pattern right here but making it go down so make sure that the this block and the lava block is on two milliseconds on the second frame so yeah, I'm not bad about that. 
and then you're done with that part then what you want to do you want to get the lava two frames put it under the red block another frame fast okay one last time make frame two two milliseconds just remember that guys come on let's this be for real now turn off start active then for the last cool dink -a dunk you're gonna get a trigger block put it around like there because if you put it too low it's gonna bounce you up like that like it literally happened to me earlier you stupid troglodyte no it's not it wasn't the trigger block that was making me bounce up it was i think i was talking about earlier with the two millisecond thing don't listen to what i'm saying right here you can put the trigger block around this height make sure not to put it too high because then when, when it's not gonna make it look like he's gonna die you want it to be like soon as he's about to hit the lava it switches so like scares him a little bit so don't listen to this troglodyte all right guys just Listen, listen to editing you who. But yeah, get a trigger block, put it over it, and then put feet, no hand, connect, connect it to the lava, put start, connect it to the block down here, put start, and you are finished. Now if I'm 100% correct, fall down, try to save yourself, and then you die. What the? Okay, it kind of worked. I don't know why it bounced me up. Yeah, you were 0% right, you stupid idiot. By the way, guys, that's what happens when you don't put the 2 milliseconds. Put the dang 2 milliseconds, please! Also, guys, I've been editing for like an hour straight. Probably like an hour and a half. I'm tired as heck. I still have another hour to go. Please just like the video for my suffering. I'm wasting my sleep schedule for this. Just, just like the video. I think the trigger has to still be higher, like that. No, it doesn't. It's the milliseconds. How did I not get this the first time? Okay, I'm actually sorry, guys, for pausing the video like 99 times. I'm just going to go ahead and skip to tip number three. So here we go. Now for the plinko board, this one should be very easy. If you can't do this, then you were actually a bot at this. First thing you want to do is just make your plinko board however you want. Your design doesn't matter. After that, you're going to get your start and then your ending. Then you're going to create your characters that are, have to be circles or else you're cooked I mean, it doesn't have to be but it, it, it's most recommended but yeah i made a yuhu glingus index and a noob then you're just gonna group them and then put enable physics on all of them then you're going to make sure they're touching the ground but make sure they're even like this one's in the middle of that one make sure they're touching the red thing then what you're going to do is you're going to animate this one too put it inside that make sure a50 start active off two milliseconds and then there then you're going to connect this trigger i just put graphic because it's easier to the red and then you should be done so boop see who wins this time am i about to get two dubs in a row two dubs in a row oh easy this time gling was second index was last and huh? how he doesn't even get to win this noob doesn't even get to that's how bad the noob is bro he doesn't even get to win oh, that was depressing um Tip number four now. Tip number four is something I bet a lot of people want to do. First of all, build whatever thing you want. You could build a jetpack, a rocket, a freaking, I don't know, cloak or something. I don't know. Build whatever you want. For me, I'm just going with the simple rocket. After you have your design of whatever you have, you want something that you can hold on. I'm just going to use wood. You don't have to use wood. I'm just going to use it because it's super easy. And now we have our holdable thing, my bob. Freaking ant bit me, bro. Hop off. Since mine's a rocket, I'm gonna use the rocket fuel. So I'm gonna put like orange as the end one and the start color is red. Make sure it's long, like this long. And after that, you wanna put spawn rate about halfway there. Then you wanna put lifespan about like that. End size and start size about there. Okay, that is too big. Never mind. Put it about like there. By the way, I have to have it long so that when people see you flying, it's like a big old trail. Then after that, you wanna move your particles that way. Then you wanna get a gravity block. Make sure sure it's fling mode put it pointing straight make sure it is not touching the rocket make sure it's barely not touching the rocket you want to put it on the sides put it about high like that put one on the other side then what you want to do is you're going to group all this put enable physics and then now you can grab this so now you have the rocket done then you're going to put these bad boys down actually i forgot to group this one with it so group all of it now enable physics now you should have the rocket nice you could put it whatever speed you want to it doesn't have to be slow let's go around this pillar come on go up go up go up yes made it around the pillar i want to hit the dummy want to hit the dummy 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 that is how to make a rocket just know guys i'm sorry for what i'm about to do this dummy has to die i'm not trying to go on the rocket go. all right guys sorry for what i'm about to do but the dummy has to die all right <laughs> I'm
waited him long. Okay, no more playing around now. Last tip. First thing you want to do is make your dummy slash freaking thing. I don't know. So you can make your own character. You can make literally everything you want. Just has to have legs, body, hands, and a head. And then you're good to go. But here's how to make the dummy actually work. First thing you want to do. So you basically want to make a chain. So this is going to go halfway between that. Make it go up a little bit. And then you want to connect them like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to group that. Copy and paste. Put it like right there. And then ungroup that. And then connect the leg thing, my bobs. So there you go. Those are your two chains that you guys are going to be using. I would recommend just deleting that arm. Um, copying and pasting both of those. And then just putting that like right over here. Then what you want to do group this one or not group it copy and paste it put it right here then what you want to do is you want to copy and paste and then this one should be there okay there we go by the way the chains cannot be touching each other don't make sure the chains are not touching each other this one i'm going to make the change a little bit smaller like that copy and paste those on this leg then the chain that is connecting to the body part group all that together so group that leg group that leg to that one Then, just go ahead and add physics to every single one. There you go. He, he, he's moving. But that is your dummy. So let's go ahead and just... Ah. And now that you build your dummy, you're going to go ahead and get the rocket. And then just... Okay, guys. I'm going to get a rocket and line up a lot of dummies and just go... And just fly through all of them. So, okay. Turns out, uh, you only have a certain amount of physics you can bop. That's the only ones that are going to die, fortunately. So, brace yourself. And you're good. Damn! Oh my gosh. Yo, put a slow-mo. Put a slow-mo. And you're... <laughs> well, that's how to do five more tips. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like, subscribe. Join my Discord link is about. And is in the comments. I don't know if I'm going to do part three. If I do, um, I'm going to post it later. So yeah, and I'll see you guys later.